Hey, what's up you guys? It's Armando Torres here again, back with another unboxing. This time on a watch that I am super excited to be unboxing and to own and just to have in my collection and, and a regular part of my rotation. So that watch is a watch that I have actually spoken about previously on this channel when I unboxed the Calvin Klein Infinite Watch, which is also a Swiss made watch with a Swiss movement. So in that very video, I mentioned how I had been looking for a Swiss made watch, Swiss made automatic for a while. And I had been looking at a couple options. So I was looking at a Glycine Combat Sub. I was looking at a Hamilton Field Khaki. And I was looking at a main Hudson. Now in that very video, I mentioned that I was interested in the 42 millimeter version of that watch, but that the more popular version is the 38 millimeter version of that watch. Now, when I checked the website, it was sort of destiny or fate because I looked at the website and I saw that they were down to their last 42 millimeter main Hudson. So what did I do? Well, I purchased it, didn't I? I checked my funds. I said, you know what? I have enough money and I went for it. And I, I feel really, really connected to this watch um, in terms of the colors and just how I feel it will look and wear and all the specs that it has, which we will go over today. But I ended up purchasing the last main Hudson in 42 millimeter with a date on there. So we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look. And at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna have, I'm gonna actually have a really important and special announcement that has to do with main. So let's stick around, subscribe, like, and yeah, let's go ahead and flip this camera around. Before we get to the actual unboxing, I want to do a quick wrist check. As you guys can see, I am wearing the Seiko SKS 619 that I unboxed in the last video. This watch I got just before, while I was waiting for the main to actually get here. And then I waited a little bit more for my Amazon uh, package, which included all the lights and the kind of new setup that I've got going on. So while I was waiting for the main and my setup to get here, I wore this watch and it actually made waiting for those things so much easier because you know it's it's so nice and I've been I've been rocking this thing pretty much every day so I really really like this watch. So here is the box that it comes in guys. It's not a little thing. It's pretty substantial and it got here relatively quickly so that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So I managed to go ahead and get it open. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. There is the actual box it comes in on inside. Okay, I have to jimmy it open, don't I? Ah, Jesus. There we go. So the box the box comes in is actually pretty sturdy. Let me go ahead and remove this. Go ahead and remove this. So here we go guys, main watches. As far as I'm concerned, this feels like a grail watch already. It comes in a really, really substantial box. Comes in this nice little sleeve. Go ahead and remove the sleeve. Remove the sleeve. Take a look inside. So there it is, guys. It comes inside this other little box. I'll go ahead and remove. We'll take a look inside first before we open the actual watch box. It does come with a nice microfiber with the main logo on there. It's pretty big, feels good quality. Let's see here main tag movement regulated in switzerland quality control in switzerland which is really really cool hudson automatic certificate of authenticity this is actually really really nice this is probably the nicest certificates of authenticity and then this also says you can look at the manual online 
So this is actually really, really cool. And then one last thing here, I believe. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your purchase. All our watches are made with a sincere focus on quality, materials, and the smallest details. We'd love to hear your thoughts or see your pictures. And then their Instagram page right there. That feels awesome. That feels that feels genuine. I don't know. I don't know what that says, but it feels really, really genuine. Yeah, that's pretty much all that comes in this sub box. So let me go ahead and clear this out of the way. So alas, here is the watch box and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the inside of this box and see the main Hudson in 42 millimeter. Let's take a look guys. Wow. There it is. <laughs> wow, this brings a... Not to sound like Thanos, but this does bring a smile to my face. Um, let's go ahead and take this out of the pillow and we'll take a closer look at it, which doesn't want to get out of the, doesn't want to get out of there. The freaking pillow. There we go. Go ahead and take it out. And this feels amazing, to be honest. The links and the bracelet feels really, really good. I don't think I've ever had a watch that feels like this, which is interesting. As you guys can see, there is the display back. Um, it's pretty much all covered in wrapping, but let me go ahead and take that all off and then we'll take a closer look at it. So there is the watch, guys, with all of the plastic taken off. Um, as you can see, I mean, this is just a really, really beautiful looking watch. It has a 120 click rotating bezel. I had heard a lot of people complain about the bezel, which honestly, um, I don't really personally get. I mean, it's not the easiest to turn but it's not difficult to turn by any means so no complaints there and personally um for you for someone else it may be a little bit uh it may be difficult to turn the turn the uh bezel but not not for me personally now as you guys can see there is a hint of red right there on the hour hand as well as on the lollipop second hand as well as on the bezel out there Right here on the 12 o'clock, there is a red triangle as well as in the 60, the 15, the 30, and the 45 seconds. There is red uh, numbers on there. As you guys can see, it says Swiss made right there on the bottom. Now, the bracelet is pretty amazing. It looks super comfortable. Now, comfortable in my hands. I haven't tried it on my wrist yet. It's not sized. Um, for me yet, but it looks like it'll be like a very, very comfortable watch. The clasp does have the main logo on there. The finish is pretty amazing. Now it is a milled clasp. This is my first milled clasp that I will own and it looks amazing. I mean, that the quality and the finish on that is spectacular. Very Rolex inspired as well as just a lot on this watch I feel is Rolex inspired. However, it is its own unique thing. A lot of people say that it kind of looks like a vintage Submariner or it looks like this or so it looks like that. To be honest, I think that while it takes inspiration, obviously in the sense that it's a dive watch, I think there are enough differences on this watch to make it its own thing. Screw down crown right here. You can hear that movement. It is hand winding. Uh, it does hack as well, um, which is really nice. Screw down crown gives this thing 100 meters of water resistance, which is more than enough for me. I don't dive or anything like that, so I wouldn't really need it for that. And this is more of a dress watch, I feel, but it does have a little bit of extra. It, it does give it kind of like a tooly kind of look. Brushed finish on the edges right there. Brushed finish throughout the bracelet, stainless steel. It is running a 2824-2 movement, which is the same as my Calvin Klein. However, this one, as mentioned 
earlier and as shown in that card is actually regulated so i can actually i am fully expecting for this to be a super accurate timepiece main watches there on the rotor swiss made eta 2824-2 and as you can see there the 100 meters of water resistance there is an option to get a 200 meter water resistance uh, case back on there but then you wouldn't see the movement which for me i would rather see see the movement than get 100 extra meters of water resistance but that's just me main hudson 42 automatic right there on the back and yeah this watch it, i'm loving everything about it so far one more thing to note about the display case back is that it is actually made of sapphire which is a really nice touch making this watch feel that much more premium the real star of this watch though is the dial so as you can see main printed on there at the 12 o'clock a date window right there at the three o'clock which is perfectly visible automatic hudson right there in red and then swiss made down there at the bottom so all in all i think all of these pieces work really really well together i think that there's a good heft to this watch I think there are enough specs on this thing to really make this worthwhile. Sapphire crystal as well on top of there. So really durable in, in that sense as well. 42 millimeter case obviously is the one that I opted for. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see, I, I feel like I've had a Casio Doro and that thing is really, really hard to turn sometimes. So one more, one more, one more. There we go. So all in all, for the most part, like this checks all my boxes, to be honest. Sapphire crystal, Swiss made, 42 millimeter, um, lollipop hands. The splash of red really, really works for me as well. Um, just because red is one of my favorite colors. I think I mentioned that when I unboxed my first Seiko. So yeah, all in all, guys, I think this is a piece that really, really works. If it's something that you're interested in, the 42 millimeter is actually no longer in production. As I mentioned, this is the last 42 millimeter main that has been made. So really proud to own that. Um, but there are a lot of 38 millimeter versions. I think they're in pre-order right now, but this is really, really amazing. And as you can see, it does have the M for main on the screw down crown. It's a relatively thin watch when you take into consideration all the all the things that this has going for it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and size this baby up and then I'll throw this thing on wrist. So guys, this is a close up of what it looks like on my wrist. I will be doing a couple different angles from a couple different lighting situations here. But as you can see, that close up looks really, really nice. I do have the flash turned on in this particular setup, as you can see by that glint. Uh, it does reveal a couple really nice things about this watch, like that sandblasted dial and the colors. However, I do feel that it also reveals some of the negatives on this watch, mainly the anti-reflective coating, which while it sticks to the spirit of a vintage Samariner style watch that I feel Main was going for here, I do think that the anti-reflective coating could be better. Perhaps it is something that they improved uh, from the Mark II to the Mark III. Uh, but the anti-reflective coating is something that could definitely be a lot better. But for the most part, I think that this watch looks really, really great, feels really, really premium, and all in all wears really, really well. So uh, like I said earlier, it does check all my boxes, and I feel really proud to own this watch, and I feel really proud to own a piece of the company's history early on in its heritage I do feel that this is a watch company that will stick around for a long time and kind of pave its way in the watch world there it is from a different angle still with the flash on uh, as you can see here it does fit my wrist pretty well um, the dome sapphire crystal and the clasp as you can see there look really really well now this is probably the biggest I would wear a watch uh, the 42 millimeter looks really really good however lug to lug it is 50 and a half millimeters which again is probably the biggest I'll ever wear a watch I found the limit <laughs> this is it and uh, but oh but it still fits my wrist without uh, spilling over there so uh, it is a bigger watch I am curious now to see and 
and perhaps feel what the 38 millimeter will look like and what the lug to lug looks like on that watch I still feel maybe it's gonna be a bit too small uh, but with this vintage style uh, watch looks really good from the side too by the way doesn't it with that sapphire crystal just popping up there 12 and a 12.2 millimeters thick I believe it is I'll go ahead and confirm on the screen what what it is but there it is on my wrist um, but like I was saying the the this vintage style watch tends to wear a little bit bigger uh, on on wrist again uh, the 22 millimeter bracelet tapers down as well to 20 millimeters I'll try to show that again but yeah overall on my wrist uh, as I was saying vi this vintage style watch does tend to wear a little bit bigger than uh, you know something a little bit more modern 22 millimeter there it is tapering down to 20 millimeter at the clasp which overall gives it a really nice uh, feel on wrist and yeah guys like I was saying I, I feel really honored in a way to own uh, a part of this company's heritage you know the last 42 millimeter that's kind of a it's kind of an appropriate watch to wear but yeah so this this watch uh, like I was saying I a, a lot of people say you know it's not a perfect watch this or that but keep in mind that this is a young company it just uh, you know stepped into the scene not that long ago I believe just a couple years ago and I think that uh, you know if you looked at the first Rolex ever made I don't think that that was a perfect watch either but it kind of stepped into its own with time and proving itself and this thing you know I, I been wearing it for a couple days now I'm doing a voiceover here on this video but this watch has been coming in at plus one second a day that regulated movement really is doing a lot of work and uh, you know for plus one second a day I think this is a really really great watch to wear in different situations like I said it is kind of a tool watch but it does have a screw tool watch I meant a dress watch it is kind of more of a dress watch but it does have that tool watch aesthetic and feel to it with that hundred meters of water resistance you can see the lug to lug there it just fits my wrists nicely um, without drooping over too too much but yeah like I said it's more of a dress watch that looks really really classy with that uh, black white gray and red that just that touch of red I think it's slim enough 12.2 millimeters with that dome sapphire crystal to you know to you know not make it too too big and, and just slim enough to you know wear under a dress shirt if you would like uh, but yeah all in all guys definitely a watch under $500 a Swiss made automatic watch under $500 you can't go wrong guys you really can't I'm gonna do a loom shot as well here this is a uh, sped up that's another thing about this watch that I feel could have been a lot better uh, the loom is a C3 Super Luminova. I believe they go from C3 to C1 from the Mark II to the Mark III, the 38 millimeter. Um, and that will be pretty interesting to compare with one another. And that kind of leads me into my next topic of discussion, guys. And I'll go ahead and uh, show that now. So, guys, I said earlier in the video that I had a special announcement regarding Maine. And that special announcement is that I actually ended up reaching out to Maine and they were willing to send me the 38 millimeter version of this watch, which will be super interesting to compare side by side on wrist, especially for me, um, because I am convinced that the 42 millimeter was the way to go. Uh, but of course, I can only really say that if I have the 38 millimeter to compare it to. So they were nice enough to say that they are going to send me a 38 millimeter version of the Hudson. Now this will be the Mark III. This is the Mark II. So it will be interesting to see what the differences are side by side. Now I know there's a different movement in there, a different lug width, different dimensions. Um, the bracelet is meant to be different as well. The bezel is meant to be different as well. So. Those kind of things will be interesting to compare side by side. It's going to be a really, really cool video, guys. So if you are interested in that and want to see that, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a like. It helps me out. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. See you later. So guys, if you know me and you know my videos, you know that I like to end my videos with glamour shots of the watch that I just unboxed or reviewed. And this video is going to be no different. 
I would like to have her take this opportunity while I show you the glamour shots to thank everyone over at Main Watches for one being willing to send me the Mark III version of the Hudson, but also two just for keeping an open line of communication with me during these hard times. They did let me know that the Mark III was going to be delayed. They did let me know that it was because of the coronavirus hitting the south of Switzerland, which I completely understand. I understood then. And I understand more now, now that it's kind of caught up with the rest of the world and we're all, um, you know, kind of going through it. It's here in my home state of California. So it's a situation that we're all kind of going through collectively. So if things are going to be delayed. Everything seems to be put on hold for the time being. So um, it's just something that we have to take day by day, one day at a time and just focus on getting healthy and getting right. And we are going to get right, guys. It's just a matter of time and uh, perseverance but uh, on, on a lighter note once again I would just like to thank everyone at Maine and um, specifically Sebastian, Rickard and Victor for just being so cool about the whole thing and uh, yeah guys subscribe it's definitely a video that you're not going to want to miss um, the comparison video between the Mark II and the Mark III there is a different movement there is meant to be a different uh, bezel bracelet loom uh, you know, just all these kind of uh, little differences and little improvements between them that uh, that they made. So uh, that's going to be really cool and really uh, interesting to see. And speaking about that, you know, Maine does seem to be a brand that is going to be here to stay. They have already made quite the impact in the watch world and are, like I said, a relatively young company. And uh, if this is kind of the first attempts and their first iterations of watches uh, in their youth then I can't wait to see where they go from here and uh, yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting to see I'm, I'm completely uh, on board with them and and complete and I can't wait to see where they go from here so uh, yeah if you guys want to give them a follow they're at main watches I believe on on Instagram and uh, yeah they're definitely a, a watch company to keep an eye on for the future and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it guys until next time enjoy these glamour shots and yeah i'll see you guys soon take care guys